and it's Fan Friday. It's time for Fan Friday. All right, so Fan Friday outside wasn't working because it's too windy, so Fan Friday inside it is. Root Beer Wolf Dog wants to know, has anyone ever made fan videos of your dogs, like music videos? Uh, we know people have made fan videos. We've seen a few different videos and fun things of the dogs. Music videos? Not that I know of. But that'd be kind of cool. Horatio1218 says, if there's a tornado coming and you guys need to go down in the basement, how about Memphis? Will she go down into the basement? Hey Memphis, if there's a tornado, will you come into the basement with us? Probably not, but we would pick her little fluffy butt up and carry her down there anyway. <laughs> Margaret Jang says, I have a nine month old female husky. She's great, she's not aggressive, but she is Houdini. She gets out of everything, fences, crates, her harness. Should I try putting her on a tie out on her collar? I've just recently figured out how to get her to stay in her crate, but I can never leave the house because she always gets out of my yard. Maybe you should leave her in her crate inside the house instead of leaving her in the yard where she can get out and take off and run away. Um, I don't leave any of my dogs outside when we leave. They're all in the house because I know they could figure out how to get out of the yard if they really wanted to. Hi up close Memphis Tongue. Um, my suggestion would be try to keep them in the house while you're not home. I would, I would give that a try. And in accordance with the last question, Davik wants to know, if I leave my house without the puppy I just got, how do I prevent them from chewing on the furniture? With a crate. That, that will save your furniture. Yes, it will. Lorena04 says, is it better to train a husky when they are puppies? You can train a dog at any age. They tend to catch on a little bit quicker when they're puppies, but it doesn't necessarily mean you can only train them when they're puppies. You can train adult dogs too. They just catch on a little bit better when they're puppies. You guys are all burning up. I know, it's humid. We'll turn the AC back on as soon as we're done with Fan Friday. Sophie the Swagger says, How can I stop my husky puppy from talking and whining with the neighbor dogs? Because the neighbors find it extremely annoying. I've already tried to keep him inside, but he pouts and whines to go back outside every time I leave him inside. Uh, that's a husky thing. As you guys have seen multiple times, Shelby likes to whine and cry and make all kinds of noises, especially during Fan Friday. Bless you! Bless your face, fluffy butt. My goodness. <laughs> um, it's a husky thing. They're vocal. And they're very vocal when they're around other dogs. They're like little kids that want to talk to their friends. I can only imagine all they're saying when they're making all that noise with other dogs around is, Hey, how are you? Want to be my friend? Want to play? Want to run? Want to do this? What? 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 Want to play? Want to play? Want to play? Want to play? Is that what you guys say when you're... When you're... <laughs> when you're talking a million miles a second. Who are you? Want to be my friend? You can be my best friend in the whole wide world. You want to be my best friend? Huh? You want to be my best friend? Best friend in the whole wide world. <laughs> Sophie Star and Charlie says, I know you feed your girls Dr. Tim's Kinesis and we want to feed our dog it as well. But when we asked our vet, the vet said we shouldn't do it because it's all life stages. Do you have any tips? <laughs> um, I've had a couple people ask me this because the food is all life stages and what do I think? Uh, here's what I think. Does it really matter? I mean, puppy food has a little bit more protein sometimes and overweight, like dogs that are overweight need a little bit less protein. So if you have a healthy dog, the all life stages food is gonna be just fine. I mean, I don't know. I've never been a big believer in, oh, puppies need puppy food and senior dogs need senior food. I mean. Maybe, maybe you should ask your vet why that matters. Like why a puppy should have puppy food and a senior dog should have senior dog food so that you'll get a better understanding of what your vet thinks. It's entirely up to you. Uh, we fed Shiloh in all life stages food up until we had to start feeding her her own food because she became allergic to more things. Um, Shelby's been on an all life, I know I'm talking about you. Shelby's been on an all life stages dog food ever since she was a puppy. So, oh, aren't you cute? So yeah, I would ask your vet that question, see what they say. Jacob wants to know, how do you keep your dogs cool so they don't suffer in this hot, humid heat? Um, well, we use an air conditioner for one, and they get to eat ice cubes for two. They have a pool. There's also other things you can do, like if it's really hot a lot where you're at, you can buy like a cooling coat. I think uh, Roughwear sells a really nice one. It's like a swamp cooler coat for dogs. That's something you could always try to help keep them cool. Why has everybody got to be so close to me while I'm filming? Crazy dogs. Joanne says, how do you deal with the hair? It's really not that bad, you guys. Vacuum, 
Make sure you have the little rollers to get it off your fur. I know, I'm just telling them, Shelby. I'm just telling them. I know, it's really not that big of a deal, is it? Say, you just love us, so you just deal with it. Ta-da! <laughs> your little whining is more annoying than your furs. <laughs> Avery says, I have a four-month-old husky cross and we just got her shots and next step is getting her spayed. I'm getting mixed opinions about getting her spayed. At six months, some people recommend it. Some people say wait till after her first heat cycle. Some people say do it as early as possible. I know there could be consequences that could happen either way. When did you get your girls fixed and what are your opinions on waiting past six months? This is something that you really should talk to your vet about. Uh, Memphis was spayed at... I think she was six months, maybe five months. Shelby was spayed, I think, at five or six months, right around there. They had to get to a certain weight, I think is what it was, as my, my vet wanted them to be a certain weight. Um, Shiloh was a little bit older when she got spayed, just because she had other issues going on, and Oakley was spayed when we got her. But this is something that, you know, it's hard to say. There are a lot of different, there's a lot of research out there that show all different things. Some people say it's worse if you get them spayed. Some people say it's worse if you don't get them spayed. Some people say, you know, and there's research supporting a lot of this. So it's, it's just, it's what you feel comfortable doing. I would sit down and talk to your vet about it. Get as much information as you can and do what you feel comfortable doing. Because, like I said, both of our girls were spayed right around six months. And that's what I feel comfortable doing. How about you? Is that what you feel comfortable in? Were you spayed, Oakley? Would you like to tell us? Because I don't know. You want, do you want to tell us? No? Fine. We didn't want to ask you anyway. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, I would discuss it with your vet. Get on Google, do some research, and see what you can find out, and do what you feel comfortable doing. Man, Dr. Tim questions are popular today. A couple of you asked, um, why I switched from Canada's food to Dr. Tim's food. In all honesty, um, I didn't have a problem with Canada's food, but I had contacted them on a few different things, and they kind of, the emails I got back from them, I just wasn't really happy with. And then when I found out about Dr. Tim's food, I was really excited because we're in Michigan and he's from Michigan. So I like to support Michigan companies, and that was one of the reasons we switched. Um, Ron had a question that says, how many pounds of dog food do you use a month? We have three labs and we go through about 75 pounds of Dr. Tim's. Um, well, I have three Huskies, as you can tell. They're a little bit smaller than your labs, I'm sure. We go through about 55 pounds right around there a month. So you're probably pretty, pretty, uh, pretty dead on with how much you go through. And same thing with how much we go through. And for those of you that don't know, there will be a link down in the video description. Dr. Tim was nominated as America's Best Veterinarian, and he's in the top 20 running. And you can vote every day from now until I think it's August 30th. I've been posting a link on my information and link on our Facebook page. You can check it out. But if you get a chance, go down there and vote for him because Dr. Tim is awesome. We got some mail. We got some mail. Oakley, have a dirty face. <laughs> Shelby got a birthday card and a package all the way from Singapore. That's pretty cool. Let's see what's in it. Check that out. Some sea biscuit dog treats and an ice cream cone toy. Let me open it. <laughs> Shelby, is that yours? Shelby's like, this is mine. It's totally mine. It's my ice cream cone toy. How cute is that? Oh, Shelby, you're a riot. <laughs> All right, and here's the treats, which I found out on the back of the package are actually made in England. They're 95% fish, 5% rice, and they smell like fish food. <laughs> but apparently, the girls like them. And we got a letter and a birthday card from Shelby from Morgan Shadow Wolf on YouTube with a tennis ball. I think Shelby likes that ice cream cone, you guys. What do you think? And we got a package from Brooklyn, and Brooklyn wrote us a letter and said she made this. Look how cool that is. And also sent, look, a husky hood. Wanna wear it? Shelby's like, no, I don't wanna wear it. Hold on, let's see if Memphis will wear it. What do you think, Memphis? You got a husky hood on. What do you think? They're like, this is so humiliating. <laughs> oh, look how cute. <laughs> oh, 
Brooklyn also sent these awesome drawings. One of Shiloh, one of Memphis, one of Oakley, and one of Shelby. And Shelby got a birthday card from Remy. We got a letter and a fun drawing from Emma, and Emma wants to know if any of our dogs have any allergies. None of these dogs have any allergies. And how many times have you been to Ohio? Because that's where I live. Uh, we've been there a couple times. We've gone to Cedar Point a few times, and uh, we went to Hocking Hills just this past uh, May. And we got a drawing of Shelby, and it says, Happy Birthday from Caitlin. And we got another Happy Birthday from Charizard108 and Shelby. They have a dog, an American Eskimo, named Shelby. And we got a drawing from Savannah, and Savannah wishes Shelby a happy late birthday. Still hugging the ice cream cone. And wants to know what are some foods that dogs shouldn't eat. Um, some ones that I can think of right off the top of my head are onions and chocolate. Those are two I know for sure dogs shouldn't eat. There's definitely a lot of things, though. If you go to Google and search what foods can dogs not have, you can get a whole list of stuff. Girly Gamer 76 sent us this awesome Nintendogs card and wants to know, do your dogs bark at the UPS truck? Actually, they don't. And it also says, I thought you would like to have this if you have a 3DS or a 2DS. I do not yet, but I do have one in my Amazon shopping cart that I've been debating on buying. What do you guys think? Should I get a Nintendo 3DS and play some games from that on our Arcade Snow Dogs channel? Let me know in the comments below. And we got a drawing from Remy, and Remy wants to know, are you going to teach Memphis to catch a Frisbee? I don't know. I, mean, I don't think any of our girls can actually catch a Frisbee. Maybe we'll see if Memphis can learn it someday. Party time! We got this awesome coloring from Sydney and a card for Shelby for her birthday. And it says, my dog is allergic to grains. Do you know of any dog foods without it? Actually, there's a lot of them. Dr. Tim's has a grain-free dog food. There are a lot of grain-free dog foods out there that you could feed your dog. Or you could make your own food if you really wanted to. And we got a letter from a new subscriber, seven-year-old Carly, with some photos of all of her pets. And Carly had a couple of questions. Do you like cats? I do like cats, we just can't have a cat because Shelby doesn't like cats. And another question she had was, have you ever fed your dogs Brussels sprouts? I don't know if any of these ones have. I remember we fed them to Shiloh and she wasn't a fan. We don't eat them very often, but maybe we'll have to buy some and feed them to the girls and see what they think. That's all we have for Fan Friday today, you guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. If you missed it, on Wednesday we put up a video of the girls just basically sleeping at camp. Uh, while we were camping, I should say. Uh, it was pretty cute. It was a wordless Wednesday. And on Monday, you guys have been asking for this for a long time. On Monday, we put up the video of all the dogs playing with the remote-controlled truck that Jamie got for his birthday. So you guys will have to go check that out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you on Monday. I almost forgot what day it was.